excited about the potential for technology to enhance learning, but finding ways to bring it into our classrooms is a big challenge, especially considering our school's shrinking budgets. To help, the government created the Schools and Libraries Program of the Universal Service Fund, more commonly known as E-Rate. Through E-Rate, schools and libraries can apply for funds to purchase hardware, internet access, and telecommunications to connect their students to 21st century learning opportunities. Sounds great, right? It is, but it also comes with plenty of paperwork and requirements for districts to receive those funds. The newest of those compliance requirements is outlined in the Children's Internet Protection Act, SIPA, and its amendment, the Protecting Children in the 21st Century Act of 2008. This legislation requires that by July 2012, all districts receiving E-rate funds must have a policy to provide for the education of students regarding appropriate online behavior, including interacting with other individuals on social networking websites and in chat rooms, and regarding cyberbullying awareness and response. In short, schools that get E-rate funding need to teach students how to use all of this new technology responsibly and your district needs your help to make this happen. The good news is that Common Sense Media created this toolkit to make it easy for you. Our completely free E-Rate Toolkit has the hands-on resources you need to provide that SIPA-mandated education to your students. It includes a selection of 45-minute lessons from our robust and free digital literacy and citizenship curriculum. Based on the research of Howard Gardner and the Good Play Project at the Harvard Graduate School of Education, the K-12 curriculum provides video-rich, classroom-tested instruction that's aligned to ELA Common Core standards. Here are the three easy steps to using this toolkit. Step 1. Determine your role. The government hasn't indicated how this education needs to be delivered, so it's up to your district or school to decide what's best. We recommend one of two options to be sure students are digitally savvy by the time they leave school. The first is to teach one or two lessons per grade level, so each student learns some aspect of digital literacy and citizenship every year. The second is to choose benchmark years in elementary, middle, and high school so that students receive all of the lessons recommended for those grades and learn about all of the topics required by SIPA. Ask your administrator which model is being implemented at your school and what role you're playing. Step two, find the resources. Once you know your role, Click through the tabs on this page to find all of the resources you and your students will need. Here you'll find 45-minute lessons, engaging videos, practical handouts, formative assessments, helpful parent tips, and colorful classroom posters, all of which will help you do your part. Once you've completed the lessons, fill out our teacher verification document. Return it to your school's E-Rate administrator along with any other paperwork they've requested. And finally, remember that this is about more than just being able to check a box on a form saying that you've complied with E-Rate and SIPA requirements. It's about preparing your students to thrive in a world rich with media and technology. That's our mission at Common Sense Media, and we hope you'll join us. We encourage you to register as an educator with Common Sense to stay in touch and to explore the classroom curricula, professional development, in-depth articles, and parent media education resources beyond this toolkit. If you have questions about this toolkit or any of our resources, please contact us at schools at commonsense.org.